We have quite a few factors that affect reaction rate, and we're going to take them one by one. So chemical reactions occur because particles collide with each other. How quickly a reaction occurs depends on how fast the collisions occur and how many are effective. Because we not only, like we learned in the first part, we have to have effective collisions. Now reaction rate, it, and we're going to add something else. The speed at which a reactant is transformed into a product. Anything that speeds up the rate of reaction will increase the rate of reaction. So a lot of this has to do with rate. Well, nature of reactants is our first one. Phase. We're talking solid, liquid, gas. Intermolecular forces. We have four of them. Know them. What types of bonding do we have? Metallic. Do we have covalent? Ionic? And so on. So chemical reactions involve breaking and forming of bonds. For this reason, the bond type of the substance reacting will affect its reaction rate. Ionic reactions occur very fast, especially in aqueous form. There are fewer bonds to rearrange than covalent. And this, ionic, dissociate. which is why they go faster. Covalent reactions occur very slow. Covalent bonds are more difficult to break than ionic and thus require more energy.